Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to show the current status of my setup and my future plans. On the top left today you have the Cisco Meraki router that belongs to my employer and I use that to work from home. They have my DSL modem and the Cisco RV042. The RV042 is connected to a provider that comes up from the roof like the antenna and also to the DSL. I plan to replace it to a probably PFSense box, but what I want to build goes around 500 euros or 400 and I don't have money for that now, so that waits. Then the SG200 that replaced my SG08 because, well, the setup here grew and I have all the spots here connected. There are three VLANs, one for internal use only, one for guests and one that goes to the internet directly without uh, passing through the network and I use that to connect to my employer. This is not going to change, I don't have any plans to replace the switch by now, just find a nice rack for it. Then down here I have my silent server. It's a dual core Xeon 1220L and I love the setup so much that I actually want to build a silent NAS. Here is the mini Iris Indigo made by Dodoid with an Android board inside. It has like four fast cores and four slow cores and I think it has two or four gigs of RAM and it's running HA proxy for me. So far it does a job well and the fan never kicks out unless I'm upgrading Linux. But well, since I'm gonna replace the router on the top one day, I may just decommission this one and have everything running from the same device. And here is my quad-core Xeon uh, micro server. It has been running well. And this is the next box I'm going to decommission. I'm very happy with the performance and it's actually very quiet. But after having a fully silent server, I came to appreciate silence, especially because I'm in my living room. And this one makes a bit of noise. I don't know yet if I'm going to transform this into a silent micro server and change the chassis so I can keep using the same uh, uh, SAS uh, cable, use the same motherboard, same processor, just replace the heat sink and you know, put it all around a bigger chassis that can, that can be really truly passive, or if I'm gonna build a new box. Money allowing, I'm gonna take the CPU, the RAM, and build a new thing. I can even maybe keep the SAS assembly and replace the spinning disks with uh, SSDs or even and MV because for two terabytes and MVs seem to be cheaper and we'll get rid of this. The advantage also would be that I can go to 32 gigs of RAM and host a few more VMs here. My chassis of choice is the XK's X439C4. It's not cheap but not very expensive. It unfortunately doesn't have a SAS backplane and only for drive sledges, but for my use it's fine because I'm gonna use the internal NMVE and on the front I'm gonna have the boot drives mirrored with free NAS and the other two are gonna be spares if one of the NVE, NMVEs inside goes bad. Very important for a silent server, it has a thermometer so I can quickly check temperature and I'm gonna probably have to modify the top for better ventilation like I'm gonna have to do with my current solution as well. I'm quite happy with the S1200 that I have, so I'm gonna keep with it. The difference is that the one I'm choosing now is larger and it has uh, remote management. But besides, it should be the same board. However, I cannot go for such a small chassis, which is not a problem because I'm gonna have higher cooling requirements now. I'm going to transplant the 1260L Xeon that I have in my micro server to the new server. It has a TDP of 45 watts, making it perfect for the passive cooled solution that I'm planning. It supports 32 gigs of memory, and that's what the motherboard supports. And it's perfect for my current and near future needs. And from now on, every server I build, I'm going to try to use the same solution, like passive cooled. The maximum temperature is 58 degrees compared to the 78 or 81 of the current setup I have. 
but there is nothing I can do about it, really. Unfortunately, two and a half inch SSDs are now more expensive than um, NVMe versions. So my server is gonna have PCIe attached uh, NVMe instead of uh, SATA. It's going to be harder for swapping a faulty dr drive, but I'm gonna have two spares on the front, so I will have the chance of having two breaking before I have to do anything about it, right? That's gonna also uh, allow me to go from eight terabytes of internal storage to 12 terabytes and even maybe keep a hot spare inside running from the PCIe bus. The performance is gonna be, well, not better because my current solution with four spinning disks already saturates gigabit ethernet, but I'm gonna have the option to upgrade to 10 gigabit ethernet if I wish in the future. To connect the drives to the motherboard, I'm just gonna use a Duo M2 adapter. It should do the job. I'll probably buy one, try it, and then buy a second one. The Alpine 12 Passive is gonna remain the cooling solution of my setup. It's perfect for processor up to 45 watts, and that should cover the Xeon L lines. I don't think there's any Xeon L that uses more than that. It works, does the job, comes already with the thermal paste applied. The system doesn't have doesn't get too full of dust because well there is no fans and it is perfect, right? It comes with multilingual menus and everything that you don't need, but it does the job. You know, keep using the night yar night jar power supply for my needs. It works, does the job. It's silent, it's very well built, very expensive, but who cares, it works, right? Keep gonna use it, and I hope to have a full silent rack more than enough for my home and my experiments. It comes with all the cables that you're gonna ever need, very well packed, the cables are also very neat, everything is top quality, and if you have it well, well, cooled, like with good ventilation, this is gonna last you years for sure. And if you like that and want to see the server alive, please like and subscribe because, you know, these things are very expensive. I hope I can get the server up and live in the next three or four months. Let's see. Thanks for watching and see you next time.